Okay, resetters, I wanna save you a ton of money at supplements. The supplements have become this hack that people are obsessed with, and so many of you are wasting your money on it. So I wanna explain the principle of a supplement, and I want to show you which ones you wanna avoid, and then I wanna talk about, well, how do you just narrow down the ones you absolutely need? This is, a, this is a deep conversation on supplements that we haven't had, and I wanna make sure that you're really responsible about which supplements you go into and that you're not wasting your money on any of them because you also have to remember the body's a miracle, and when, you're, when you get your lifestyle in the right place, supplements become less and less necessary. So let's dive in on this one. So for starters, and I'm gonna talk a little bit at the end of this video about minerals because it's really important, but um, this video is brought to you by Beam Minerals, which by the way, these are one of the very few supplements that I am taking every single day on a regular basis, and I'll explain why here. But before I go into that, I do wanna emphasize that there are like five supplements that I used to take and I don't take them anymore because they just became a waste of money and I found new ways to, to lean into health that didn't require them. So here's number one, and this one's gonna shock you, a multivitamin. Now, I wanna say that we do know our soils are very depleted of vitamins and minerals. But, and so when we're eating our vegetables and our fruit, I've been thinking a lot about this, even for my own self lately, how, I can, you know, we go, oh, eat your vegetables. I gotta eat my vegetables to get all those vitamins and minerals. But unfortunately, if you're, if you're eating conventional vegetables and minerals, you're not getting the same amount of nutrients in it that we did get 10, 20, 30 years ago. So as our soils have gotten worse, as our toxic loads and our stress loads have gone up, the, the, the food, and the, and the vitamins and minerals we're getting from our food are very depleted. So what that's, we've seen is that all of a sudden people went into this multivitamin and they started doing all kinds of multivitamins. And here's the really big trick that I want you to realize is that vitamins and minerals and herbs have a synergy. So just because you look on a label and you see like A, C, E, D, it doesn't mean that those are meant to all go together. Like magnesium, for example, if you're only taking magnesium and you're not careful and your magnesium levels get too high, it can actually pull out calcium out of your body. For my menopausal women, this is, this is important because we need that magnesium and calcium balance to be in, in, in check for things like osteoporosis. We need magnesium to be able to sleep at night it's a, and it's a precursor to so many hormones. But if we're not careful of this balance, then what ends up happening is we emphasize one, one nutrient at the sake of depleting another. And I just find that most multivitamins are doing that. They're throwing too many, more is not better when it comes to supplements. We are throwing too many vitamins at our body and it's causing the ratio of other vitamins and minerals to go out. Not to mention that things like Centrum, like a cheap, a cheap vitamin, like some kind of cheap vitamin you get at your grocery store is probably not going to be a benefit to you. The gummy vitamins, yeah, we love them. They're tasty. Probably not going to be uh, that, that helpful for you. And unfortunately, the cheaper the vitamin, um, the less helpful it would be. And I do want you to realize that there are synthetic supplements and there are food-based supplements. So make sure you're always getting the food-based ones, not the synthetic ones, because the th synthetic ones are, all, are really a waste of your money, and multivitamins tend to have a lot of those synthetic components to it. Okay, number two is a cheap probiotic. Now, I'm not saying don't do a probiotic, but what we saw in the supplement world was that we started to get probiotic obsessed. Like once we discovered the microbiome, uh, everybody started to see, oh my God, I'm feeling better when I eat, when I, when I, when I take a probiotic. We even saw the bloating in people's belly go down and we saw all kinds of changes. So people started doing the same probiotic over and over and over again. I want you to remember that you have trillions of bacteria in your gut and, tr and, and thousands of different species. 
When we do the same probiotic over and over and over again, what we're doing is we're creating a monoculture in our gut. And we're taking, just like the, the multivitamin can elevate one nutrient at the, con at, the, the, at the consequence or the harm of another nutrient, probiotics can do the same. Where you start to increase one version of a strain of bacteria, but then the other versions fall out. So we always have to remember that the body isn't going into balance. This is such a big concept. You're going to hear me say over and over and over again. It's the same thing with hormones. We're not trying to get massive amounts of hormones. We're trying to get the balance back right. So with the probiotics, what I found was people were just taking the same one over and over again. And in my own clinic, I had to start pulling people off of probiotics and then get very specific with the type of probiotic they need based, based off of gut tests. Um, and there is a new emerging type of probiotic that I'm pretty excited about. It's called a psychobiotic, which are, is a, a strain of bacteria that help elevate nude, moods. So you just want to be really mindful that you don't just pick up a probiotic, take it, and your life changes. There has to be variation. There has to be intention, and you want to know what you're doing. So that would be number two. Okay, number three. Now this one's a tricky one, and it's a cheap capsule version of vitamin D. Now let's talk about vitamin D for a moment. Vitamin D is massively important. So don't get me wrong, that you need vitamin D and there's only three ways you can get it. You can get it through the sun, you can get it through sardines, and you can get it through supplementation. But I can tell you after running vitamin D tests on hundreds of thousands of people. The people that took cheap capsule vitamin D, they actually saw no change to their vitamin D levels. So you need a high quality and I like a liquid vitamin D. So stop, I actually like liquids a lot in my supplements. Stop doing a cheap capsule. And, and if with vitamin D, it's so easy to check. If nothing else, if you're like, but I love my vitamin D, it's the, it's, I buy it in con big containers and it's my favorite. My doctor told me to get it and you, and you're all excited about it. Well, just check your levels. Is it improving your levels? So make sure that you're seeing a result. And it's just like with your multivi multivitamin, if you're like, oh my God, I love my multivitamin. Okay. Do you get more energy after you take it? because you should get more energy after you take it. And if you're not getting more energy, then there's a good chance it's not working for you. Same thing with your probiotic. Do you feel a difference after you take it? If you don't, it's probably not working for you. Supplements are meant to create a response in the body that you should feel. So make sure you're measuring vitamin D. Okay, next one. Ooh, this is a good one. It's your omega-3 fatty acid fish oil. Okay, let's talk about this for a moment. You, when it comes to fatty acids, we need to have a good balance. We need a good balance of omega-3, 6, and 9. So a lot of you, what happens, especially if you've been listening to my YouTube channel or reading my books, is you start to clean your diet up, I hope. And in cleaning that diet up, you're using less omega-6 inflammatory oils. And so your omega-6 levels are coming down. And then you hear one day, oh my God, I need to have more omega-3. So you start mega dosing on omega-3 uh, uh, supplements. What you've now done is you've thrown your omega-3 and 6 ratio off. That ratio of omega-3, 6, and 9 is what is the anti-inflammatory effect. Now, you might be saying, well, what about all the studies on omega-3? There's hundreds and thousands of studies. Okay, whenever we look at a study, we have to look at who is in the study. We can't just look at a study and see it published in, in, in Nature or Cell Metabolism and go, woo, that's the hero. We have to look who was in the study. What was the age? What was their health like? And when it comes to omega-3s, a lot of people in those studies were already eating high inflammatory diets. And so if you're eating a high inflammatory omega-6 diet and you bring your omega-3 supplementation in, yeah, it's going to bring, it's going to balance that inflammation. That'll be good. But if you're like me or like a lot of other resetters and a lot of people who've watched all my videos, 
is that you're cleaning up your, your, your food and you're fasting more and inflammation's coming down and your omega sixes, um, that the, it, your bad omega sixes, you're changing your oils. So your bad omega sixes are not high. So now you take an omega three supplement and you actually are doing more harm. You're creating more inflammation. So they're great tests to, to look at your ratios and know where they are. Make sure you're testing those. You can check out my website. I got some of the tests there, but it's a ratio. It's a balance. You know, I, it, it's so interesting when we look at the health world, we can, we can lift one thing up and say, here's the hero. But then we got to look at where it fits into homeostasis and into balance in the body. So with omega-3s, we showed it as the hero for so long, but we forgot to have the conversation that it needs to be in balance with omega-6. It is the hero for somebody who's eating a fast food Western diet. But for those of you that are cleaning up your diet, get rid of your omega-3s. Okay, and then the fifth one, and then I'm going to talk about what supplements I think you should be doing. Um, the fifth one is you, I don't know about you, but I've fallen prey to this. You go to a, a juice store or you're at a health food store and you're like, oh, here's a little thing of vitamin C or here's a little thing of turmeric or you order a juice and they're like, here, you want to throw a juice shot into your smoothie. Those are, those are most of the time, unless you're at a high-end juice place or you're at a very fancy health food store, they are an absolute waste of your money. Don't throw them into your juices. Don't throw them into your smoothies. They're a complete waste. There is no um, measurement of the quantity of the vitamin shots that you might be adding into your smoothie or into your juice or the little vitamin shot you might be taking. I mean, it's fun, but I, if you're trying to save money, skip the extra vitamin shot in your smoothie. So those are the five. So then that leaves you with, well, what do I take? And I, and I want to explain a little bit about how I look at supplements as somebody who has done a lot of supplements in her life, has tried to experiment with a lot of things. Okay, I got to interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called A Beginner's Guide to a Fasting Lifestyle. And all you've got to do is click here and you can jump right in. So I've now come to this place that the very most important supplement that you can take are minerals. And not all minerals are equal. So again, my new fascination and obsession is with bean minerals because they are coming from the earth. They are not synthetic. And so they're coming from the earth. But what I just learned in talking to bean minerals on the Resetter podcast is that these minerals actually have the capability of getting into an inflamed cell and actually driving minerals to your mitochondria so that your mitochondria can make more ATP. Now, follow me here for a moment. Our cells, when they are inflamed, I don't care how much vitamin C, I don't care how many drips you get, I don't care how much you douse yourself in omega-6s, if you are omega-3s, if you have an inflamed cell, that inflammation blocks those vitamins and those nutrients from getting into the cell. So what is great about these minerals is that they come from the earth. They're from deep levels of soil. And they have this unique ability, they're fulvic and humic minerals, both of these. They have these, this unique ability to go into an inflamed cell to bypass this toxic cell membrane and get into the cell and actually activate the mitochondria to make more ATP. You need minerals. I, I really believe minerals are almost more important than vitamins. And here's why. Minerals not only make hormones. So for my women that are losing hormones as you go through menopause, you've got to have more minerals. Make sure you're doing a high quality mineral. This is the one I'm taking. So you've got to be looking at minerals to make hormones, but minerals make neuro neurotransmitters. So when all of a sudden you're starting to feel depressed or anxious, ask yourself what your mineral load is. And again, a lot of us have been taking minerals and vitamins, and we're like, oh, well, I take that all the time. But it doesn't mean because you take a supplement or a vitamin or a mineral, whatever you want, we want to call it, doesn't mean that it's getting into the cell 
And what I have noticed is absolutely with bean minerals that this is, I've, I've never found another mineral uh, uh, resource like this. And for me, I can speak for me, my nails grow faster, my hair grows faster, my skin is more moist, pretty cool. Again, I did a, a whole episode with Caroline, the founder of Bean Minerals on the Resetter podcast you can go look at. Now, I have a very clean diet. I fast a lot. I watch my stress. I do everything I'm teaching you here. I do for myself. So I've cleaned up a lot in my life that allows these, these to, to be that profound for me. So, but I, I've just over the years realized that when we get something as concentrated as these type of minerals, we just don't need all the other stuff. It's, it's really that simple. So again, I want to save you a lot of money. I want to bring you what I am seeing as the best resources. Um, some of you might be like, but I like this one and I like that one. And I've talked about like some of my favorite probiotic brands and, and other ones both here and on my podcast. And I promise you every single brand I bring you, I have tested, I have vetted, I know that they work. And I've also really seen in the supplement world that we spend too much money on supplements. So let's stop that. Okay, if you love this video, you're gonna wanna check out the next video of my food series. I, on this video, wanna talk about the healthy foods that you might be eating that will stop you from a long and healthy life.